Welcome to Birdies and Bogies with Bazza. So Charlotte, we had a we had a, a lesson with Andrew, didn't we? Last Tuesday. It's now Sunday, and we are going down to range again. Can you remember what you were taught? Um, I was taught the stance. Yeah. And how to like rotate my shoulders, but not my back. Keeping your spine yeah. angle straight. Yeah, that's what he said, wasn't it? Yeah. So just to, just to echo what we've said already, basically what Charlotte's doing is a Duke of Edinburgh Gold Award and she's opted as part of um, the criteria is to take on another challenge, isn't it? Why did you choose golf? Well, because you did it. Right. And it's something I could go to. And now I edit the videos and it looks fun. It looks fun? And I was like, I want to try it. <laughs> Good, uh, well that's, so there you go. Boys and girls, youngsters that are thinking of trying it, it looks fun. Give it a go. So basically, we're heading down here just to have a bit of a practice and just to just to try and keep the memento going, aren't we? Yeah. And uh, see where we go from here, really. But we're only second lesson in, but she's yet to she's yet to uh, how can I put it? see the negatives of golf yet of which there are plenty how are you thinking now how are you thinking you're going to get on here now um i mean i don't i'm not gonna learn anything new now i just want to try and affect what andy taught, or taught me. yeah well that's that's exactly why we've got it range yeah is to, is to try and perfect or practice what we've been learning or, or trying to or, <laughs> oh, oh, literally just try and um, yeah, tr just try and perfect the swing basically because yeah. that's the hardest part of golf is is the swing. Um, the rest of it really is it's all in the head, really. It's just about going out and enjoying it. So you're just taking your seven iron. Yeah. I'm going to take my seven iron and my driver. Okay. I'm going to practice that tilting my shoulders like you were taught, teaching me that's what I'm I'm gonna work on today so if we're working the same base as each other and your only downside was when you got to the top yeah, of the I've transition you sort of lifted your head up didn't yeah. you and yeah I missed the ball because, I came because you had to come back down yeah. but you wasn't your head was staying up <laughs> but it's if you keep your head down what was he saying watch the ball yeah didn't it? just just stay keep your head on the ball and that's that's the only thing in your swing that you were really doing wrong but apart from that it was absolutely spot on yeah, i couldn't believe how well you did last week so shall we see if we can do it again yeah, yeah? let's go and have a knock <laughs> You, Charlotte, but I'm absolutely exhausted. Yeah. How did you think it went, though? Um, it went alright. Yeah. Yeah, I got a bit. It went a bit dodgy at the start, and then I kind of got back into it. Yeah. Then it went a bit dodgy again, and I got back into it. <laughs> well, you felt comfortable. He's trying to remember everything all the time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, the thing is, when you when Andy was Andrew was showing you. You just did it all so naturally, but obviously when he stood there with you, he, he was he, he could fine tune little bits and pieces, couldn't he? Yeah. But I think that's the benefit. You see, is is when he's 
teaching, when he's there, when a coach is there teaching, yeah, he can pick up on the little things rather than trying to change everything all the time or trying to think of everything. Yeah. You think, I think it, the best way to learn golf is to do as much of it as naturally as possible, isn't it? I think that's what Andrew said, wasn't it? And you benefited last week from your lesson because you just did everything so naturally, really. Um, but obviously you're there on your own to, this week and now you're trying to remember everything all at once, aren't you? So you're trying yeah. to think of the procedures as you're swinging the ball, do you know what I mean? So I think that's the only, uh, that, that's what makes it harder when you're thinking too much, I think. If you just get down and hit it, generally, you tend to find it's a decent shot. I, even I find that now. If I think about it too much, it's generally a bad shot. Yeah. Because you're trying to think of too many things and well, being a man, we can only think of one thing at once anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not ruined the excitement. No. And we've got a set of clubs for you. Yeah. We've just happened to pop, pop into uh, our friend James at uh, Hallowed Golf there. And um, he mentioned he's got a, a, a ladies set just come in. And it's not been touched, has it? And I'm not kidding you. They've still got cling film on them. Cling film. Cling wrap on them. Yeah. They're like brand new, aren't they? Beautiful, beautiful. Um, not sure on the on the make, but that's irrelevant, really. Oz, Oz, Oz Ozone, Ozone or something. Ozone was it? Ozone. Ozone. Um, yeah, so it had everything. It's got everything. It's got the driver. Um, so we've we've managed to get the driver. A uh, three wood. Uh, I think it's 20, 20 degrees. Um, a fairway wood and then there's a five six seven eight nine pitching wedge sand wedge and a cart bag as well and he let us have that for what he paid for it 50 quid that is just a bargain isn't it that is an absolute bargain uh, but obviously we needed a putter now he's got a, a load of putters in there um, but we, we found one that's cut down already to size for Charlotte and it's the small uh, Odyssey white hot putter it's shaped exactly like mine you know the one with spikes out the back the Millennium Falcon I call it <laughs> so it's shaped, it's shaped like my uh, Odyssey Work 7 but it's a smaller um, white hot putter and I think he had that on the shelf for did you have it on for 60 quid? But he's let me have it for 40 quid. So basically we've got a full rig for 90 quid. I mean, that's perfect, isn't it? That's, that's perfect. That's, that's more than I'd pay for one club. That's ridiculous. So we've got a full set for Charlotte uh, for less than 100 quid, basically. So we're ready to go, yeah? So now we can give that seven iron back to Andrew and you can practice basically with your set now full set of graphite shafts in them all it's she's just ready to go i've been practicing my uh my stance basically i've gone back to basics um which is what andrew's sort of pulled me on really is my setup um and he did say it i'm doing exactly what he said i would do and that would be pulling my shots um to the left so can't wait to get back for next lesson.
we've introduced Charlotte to the fairway wood tonight after her first lesson with a 7-9. Uh, we've worked a lot on Barry's uh, swing path tonight. Barry, results? Incredible. Absolutely. Honestly, Incredible. Absolutely. I'm, I, I just want to come back tomorrow now just to see how it goes. Good, man. Um, but that, that draw you give me as well about <coughs> against the wall there, I'm going to practice that. But... I've, I've never hit a 7-9 so that. consistent as, as that. That's it. I must admit, I've never seen a ball as good as that with a 7-9. Um, so these are buzzing. I'm happy. Customers happy. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Cheers, Andy. So if you want to follow the story and see how we get on, anything you want to say to anybody that is thinking, or any youngster, especially female youngster, that is thinking of giving it a shot, do you think they should? Yeah, go for it. Go yeah. for it, absolutely. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And we're having a bit of quality time. It's nice to have a bit of quality time as well, isn't it? With me and you. So, so follow the story. Do your ums, ups and downs or comments. Um, give us some ideas. Give uh, whatever you want. You know, whatever you think you want to watch. Whatever you want to hear about. Um, any answers, questions, quick Q and A's. Q right, thanks very much for joining us. Up, um, hope it's enlightened you and encouraged um, you youngsters to get out there and play. Um, I know I'm enjoying starting again. Basically, I feel like I'm starting again. Right back to bed. Get lessons. What a difference. Get some lessons. Start off the season um, with some positivity, basically, because uh, you're just going to keep practicing bad shots, and it's it doesn't work. Um, trust me, I've done it too many times so this year it's lessons 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 and hopefully we can achieve okay thanks for joining us take care see you soon